tonight on The Bachelor. The special two-day Bachelor event continues. Hello, Canada! As Sean heads to the Canadian wild in search of love. Last week was a rough week. I started doubting whether or not this was going to work for me. It's gorgeous, huh? This is amazing. But I still have my heart out there, and I cannot wait to just get back on track. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Sean is the epitome of the word Prince Charming. This is really pretty. Everything in me is letting go. I just can't wait for what's in store. There's a woman here tonight who I don't see a forever with. This has definitely been the hardest decision I've made thus far. Hey, it's just not meant to be. What? Everyone is in complete shock. I mean, this is ridiculous. You could be going home at any moment in time. I am, like, nervous. It's crunch time. I gotta get that rose. I think Jared does a very good job of getting Sean's attention. For her own sake, she needs to go home. Did someone get hurt? Oh, my God. Lifeline! Lifeline! Are you OK? Get over there, baby. She can't breathe. Oh. It wasn't good. Her lips were blue. Oh my god, I'm like freaking out. She doesn't even look like she's responsive. Part two of the two-day Bachelor event starts right now. I love Canada. This is my first time in Alberta. The Canadian Rockies are incredible, and Lake Louise is one of the most beautiful lakes I've ever seen. I love the outdoors, and I cannot wait to just get out and explore. But the truth is, I'm not feeling so great because I have some doubts going into this week. I left Montana feeling really disappointed considering all the drama that went down. There were definitely moments where I thought, my wife is probably not here. I wonder what our hotel looks like. I've got nine women coming into this week, and I still have my heart out there. So I'm hopeful that I can find my wife here, but in order to do that, I really need to turn things around this week and get back on track. Oh my wow. gosh. It's perfect. Ladies, come on over. Hello. How's it going? Hello. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Welcome to one of the most beautiful, most romantic places in all the Canadian Rockies, Lake Louise here at Banff National Park. Thank you. Let me tell you what's going on this week. Three dates, two one-on-one -on -one dates, and a group date. Rose is up for grabs on all the dates. If Sean decides to not give you a rose, you'll be on a plane back to the United States immediately. So you need to have your bags packed just in case. Now, who's going on what dates, what you'll be doing, you'll find out as the date cards arrive. But first, go find your incredible suite here at the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise, and your date card will be waiting for you. Ladies, head on in. Enjoy. Lake Louise is unlike anything I've ever seen before in my life. I mean, it screams romance. Oh, oh, oh God. But last week, Sean was pretty upset by the drama that happened in Montana. Oh, wow. Oh, my and even at the rose ceremony, you could tell it in his face. You guys, y'all have to check out this view. Wow. Honestly, I feel like there is tension in the house. I feel like the girls are trying to subside the tension. But unfortunately, Tierra just keeps it going. If she gets the one-on-one -on -one with Sean, I will throw up. Me and Sean. <laughs> Take her. Take her. Take her. Take her. Take her. Who hasn't had a one-on-one -on -one yet? Catherine. Daniela. Oh, and, and Tiara. Oh. I so badly want to hear my name on that date card. I really hope he has a great one-on-one -on -one plan for me because I really want that time. Haley, sometimes the best surprises are the ones you are least expecting. Oh. Brandon. Oh. I am very excited about this date with Haley. It's been a long time since we've had a non-group date, and so uh, we're going to see what happens tonight. Let me tell you about my dates with Haley. There's been a, a few things that I found out that she really loves about her, and because I'm on camera, uh, all people on camera always need cue cards. So I have some cue cards. 
on the things that she loves. Start out with Haley Loves Kids. One of the uh, the best things about her is she'll always be talking about the kids she's subbing with or the ones she's hanging out with. Uh, she's got such a heart and love for the people that she gets to take care of day in day out, whether it's Blake going crazy or Audrey um, or the, the ones that she subs at ASP at Barra. Um, she has an incredible love for kids uh, and it's so awesome uh, to see that in her uh, and in her life. She also loves her friends. Uh, she's got lots of friends and uh, she cares for them deeply. Uh, she loves to hang out, she loves to laugh, she loves to be crazy uh, with her friends and uh, I think she loves to be really loyal to them as well. And so it's fun watching those relationships grow and watching her love other people uh, makes me love her that much more. Going along with the kids is teaching. She loves to teach, that is uh, her passion and uh, she comes alive whenever she's talking about teaching. Um, that's what she loves to do and uh, it's fun to watch her just grow in that and develop that for the future. She loves her family, her brothers, her mom and her dad. Um, she'll talk about them all the time and it's great just to see how much she realizes family is important and how much she cares for them uh, and how much they care for her. This is one of the first loves that I learned about Haley. That is for the police. She loves the police. When the sirens go off, she goes nuts. She has a scanner that she listens to at all times to hear when police activities are going on. She said the first time that she really thought she really liked me was a result of me going after the police because they were pulling someone over. So, police. Going along with that, sometimes makes her really scared, um, but for whatever reason, she loves it. That is, Criminal Minds. She loves to watch Criminal Minds on TV. Uh, don't quite understand it, but she likes to do it, especially when she's alone. So that's uh, very interesting. Next up, warm. She does not like to be cold. Uh, we were in Colorado and uh, she was a little bit on the chilly side. She wore all different types of clothes, uh, but she loves to stay warm. Botanical Gardens. She loves to go to Botanical Gardens as well as walking really, really, really fast. Botanical Gardens. She'll give you a tour that is lightning fast. She will start running like she's doing cross-country practice. I think I spelled this wrong. She also likes to sew. She has a big sewing machine and she's sewn many of my things before and I'm very grateful. So those are the things that uh, she loves to do. Now that we know what Haley loves, let me tell you what I love about her. Some are the same, some are a little bit different. So what do I love about you? Because you're watching it right now. You care. Uh, you care more than a lot of people that I know um, about people and about what you do. Um, I try to get you to cheat all the time in college and not read all of your notes and all of your pages and everything that you got to do but um, you care enough about it to put in the time and you also care enough about your relationships uh, to put in your time with those as well. Um, you care about your family and your friends and um, the pe people that you get to teach. Um, you care so much and that's so much awesome. So much awesome. So awesome to see. You love to teach and I love that about you that um, you know what you're passionate about and you know what you enjoy doing and you're going after it even when it's hard and when you have to go to classes you don't think you uh, uh, enjoy uh, listen to people uh, you don't may not even like but um, you care enough about it to go through it um, because you know in the end you're gonna be doing something that you love the rest of your life you love to smile uh, I love making you smile and seeing you smile it's corny um, but that's something I love about you this I like a lot you love adventure. Sometimes your adventure, you get a little scared if we go high, but you're always up for something if I uh, suggest it. So it's a lot of fun, and that's something I love about you, that uh, you love to go on adventures, and there's a lot more adventures in the store. I love that you are constant. You are consistent. Um, you are dependable. Um, I know that I can always count on you to do the things you're going to say you're going to do, and I know that's what people love about you, too, that um, you're just that constant 
presence in people's lives. And uh, that's been amazing to have in my life. And that's one of the things I love about you. I love your depth. Uh, you're hard to get into to start out with. Um, but there's so much in there once you find it. And that's one of the things I love about you is your your depth and um, how much is inside of you and how much God is working inside of you um, and is watching that come out in other people uh, in a relationship. Same with me. Wonder. Uh, kind of like you're a little kid sometimes. Um, you just love to be uh, awestruck by things around you, whether we're looking at stars or um, underneath the sky or looking at the mountains or uh, just doing things you just love to be in a presence of wonder and um, that childlike faith and presence is so cool and that's something that I so love about you.